there are quite few uh, meetings in the world that are just centered on sleep and breathing. Uh, and this is um, a very important uh, point because uh, sleep uh, and breathing are really important topics for respirologists but also for somnologists because so many things in respiration change during uh, sleep. So traditionally uh, the pulmonary field has contributed a lot of research on sleep because of this tight relationship between uh, uh, sleep and breathing. And so um, it is very good that the ERS and uh, the European Sleep Research Society jointly um, organize every two years this uh, meeting um, and in order to focus um, the, the attention on uh, this uh, important peculiar association of respiratory disorders and sleep. So um, I think uh, it is uh, quite unique. Whoever is interested in sleep or breathing or both, especially from the respiratory field, uh, would take profit from uh, uh, this meeting. Because although uh, sleep is only a part of respiratory medicine, uh, it's actually a lot of our practical activities during the, our daily life, uh, in the wards, uh, in the clinics. So uh, people from the respiratory field uh, actually should consider sleep as an important uh, question to ask to their patients. Of course, the, the uh, meeting is not limited uh, for interest to physicians, uh, but also people uh, uh, who are under training, like residents, uh, or even nurses, um, physiotherapists, or uh, um, sleep technicians would benefit from uh, this, uh, that is uh, designed as a, a, an educational event uh, that is good to update every two years the knowledge and skills on sleep medicine applied to the respiratory system. It is very important that we uh, conduct it in close collaboration with the SRS because uh, our cousins dealing with sleep at large, so the European Sleep Research Society, um, contributes actively uh, not only to the respiratory field, but also to, uh, to provide an update on non-respiratory disorders uh, and whoever um, practices in sleep knows that uh, sometimes we need um, to be oriented, to get oriented to for other uh, sleep disorders that are non-respiratory. So it is um, really good to have the opportunity to focus not only on respiratory topics, but also on non-respiratory topics. This is an important uh, a chance to um, get an update on pediatric sleep disorder breathing um, because this is a, a part of uh, the sleep uh, research and clinical practice that is still uh, less developed than in adults. So uh, whoever is interested in children, not only for sleep, but also for respiration, and in particular, I refer to neuromuscular disease, will have the opportunity to update his or her knowledge on such topics. So people tend to come back uh, uh, at sleep and breathing. And uh, so we hope uh, they will also this time, uh, beside uh, recruiting uh, young people who, uh, for whom it is a, a really exciting experience. Um, because it is a it is a relatively short meeting, but it's very intense because it offers a wide variety of uh, topics um, of uh, clinical interest. So the purpose is mainly educational. The program is really appealing, and um, the meeting and the collaboration uh, with the, um, with the SRS is a guarantee that the top speakers on uh, the different uh, topics have been uh, chosen and invited to give a talk at sleep and breathing. 
So um, the expertise is really high and uh, this is our tradition because, uh, um, as I said, uh, people attending previous events have been really satisfied and uh, look forward to the next edition. The program has been designed by members of both societies uh, with the aim to provide a wide choice of topics uh, relevant for sleep medicine and in order to, to discuss uh, uh, new data, uh, new technologies, it's an update that is very useful also for people who do practice already uh, sleep medicine in the respiratory field. And similarly, I expect uh, it could be of value for neurologists who um, are not uh, uh, that uh, updated on uh, uh, rest the respiratory uh, sleep medicine. The topics have been uh, chosen uh, among the traditional ones but there are also we always try to put in the program something new or particularly hot uh, in order to provide an up-to-date uh, really relevant for clinical practice overview of uh, the entire field uh, i am personally very thrilled uh, at the idea of uh, seeing my colleagues, my friends again. This is not to say that from the educational point of view, the online program was, um, was not good, but um, certainly um, uh, being uh, there uh, allows you to talk with colleagues, uh, compare things, talk about talks, uh, uh, sessions, even the day after, uh, if you thought about it and you still have the people at hand so you can uh, who gave the talk so you can uh, it's more live uh, and uh, uh, it's also more productive uh, in educational terms and this is I'm quite convinced of nevertheless for those who cannot uh, or do not want to come to Prague um, I think that the uh, possibility to see the online uh, program is also valuable, uh, at least from the educational point of view. The practical skill uh, workshops are usually very well attended and people are quite satisfied with the experience and that's why we, we keep them and we keep, we keep doing them. Uh, also, I, I think that the other thing is the, that DRS has turned towards a, a higher interest into clinical cases. So having uh, um, sessions that uh, come out of uh, uh, clinical experience. And so this makes the program really easy to catch in, in terms of interest for participants. So we, we're trying to do our best to have uh, a friendly meeting uh, with the, the, the faculty available all the time. So they are all there, So and they are experts from, uh, from uh, Europe mostly, but also some uh, from abroad. Um, and this is very important uh, because um, seeing people uh, live uh, makes uh, also making questions uh, maybe easier. Mm -hmm. The sessions, we have uh, year in review sessions, um, one for respiratory, one for non-respiratory, and one for pediatrics. So these are the three um, topics we cover. So uh, in order to uh, point the attention towards the things that have changed the, the sleep world since uh, uh, the last sleep and breathing. The, another added value uh, of the live uh, Congress is the fact that young people can present their data and discuss them with uh, with experts uh, and have important input for their future work. So um, uh, discussing e-posters is also nice, but discussing a live poster is completely different. Also, the fact that uh, the the meeting is much smaller. Uh, compared to the ERS meeting, allows a sort of familiar uh, atmosphere that is um, 
good for science. I hope you will come numerous uh, and happy to the next uh, Sleep and Breathing Congress in Prague. Thank you very much and uh, see you there.